Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Does this scare you? Seeing these numbers together. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> this is actually called a polynomial, okay? And so in this video here, I'm just going to introduce you to it so that it's not so intimidating, okay? Sometimes people say numbers and letters shouldn't go together in math, but they do anyway, so we might as well know how to do it. A shout out to my patrons over on Patreon who are supporting me in creating these videos. Do check out my Patreon page and consider supporting me so I can continue making free content for everyone. Welcome to Purely Persistent, I'm Michelle. Now before we even get started with the math, we are going to figure out the language. So the first half of the word polynomial or the prefix is poly and poly actually means many. Okay, so think about some other words that you've heard of that have the word poly in it. Polynesia, right? Polynesia is a group of islands in Asia. Polygraph, right? That's the lie detector. Does that mean it detects many lies? <laughs> Let's hope not. Polygamist, right? A polygamist is someone that has many wives, right? So again, poly just means many. Uh, comment below and tell me if you can think of any other poly words. Now we have nomial. Okay, and so nomials, um, notice how it kind of looks like number, right? It really does, so many numbers. But it actually, in this sense, means terms. So when you look at the word polynomial, it really just means many terms. Many meaning more than one, right? So let's take a look at some actual polynomials. So here I have a group of terms that equates to a polynomial. And so each one here, so the 4x plus 2, that is called a term. And the 3x is another term. And the 2 is another term. So it's really just each part broken, broken apart. Now, let's take a look at this number, or this polynomial rather. Is there anything we can do to simplify it? Not really, right? Because think about it like it's a fruit salad, okay? So the 4x plus 2, that represents the oranges. The 3x, that represents our apples. Oh, there's a little apple coming out the top, right? And then the 2 represents the blueberry. Okay, so they're all very different, right? And so we've got a fruit salad in our polynomial here, but we can't actually turn an apple into an orange or we can't turn a blueberry into an apple, right? We have to keep them separate. But if we have more apples, we can add our apples together. So let's do that, let's add some apples. <laughs> so here I have one apple and another apple and another apple, right? So because they're all the same, they all have the same term, I can now have apple plus apple plus apple equals three apples. Oh my gosh, that one is just a blob. <laughs> my other ones look like cherries. Don't judge me on my drawings, okay? But now in terms of algebra, we're actually going to use a letter. So I'm going to say A for apple plus apple plus apple. So a plus a plus a is just equal to 3a. But now let's go back to our fruit salad. So we understand the blueberries, right? We understand just plain adding numbers. Now we understand the apples, which is just taking three apples and adding them all together, which is 3x. But we have 4x squared. So how do you get the squared? Let me teach you. So I'm not adding anymore. Now I'm multiplying. If you ever see a little dot like this one right here, that is actually just multiplying, okay? It's because mathematicians don't wanna put an X because X is a letter, and so they just do the little dot, okay? So now I have orange times orange is actually going to give me orange squared, okay? But let's use a letter so that it's a little more similar. We're not gonna use orange Oh, though, uh, let's actually use R. So R times R is just going to equal R squared. 
Now, as we learned before, even though we have here the x squared and the x, it's still different fruit, okay? So, yeah, they're both x's, they're both fruit, but we can't combine them together. So let's do a little bit of practice of combining our polynomials. So here I have 4x squared plus 3x squared plus 2x. Now, notice here how this is an x squared and this is an x squared. So because they're both x squares, I can actually add those together. So 4 plus 3 is just 7 x and then I'm actually going to keep the squared. The square doesn't change. The only way the square changes is if I'm multiplying and here I'm just adding. So I have 7x squared plus there's nothing I can do with this 2x except leave it as is so plus 2x. So here's another one 5x squared plus 4y minus 2y plus 17. So this has four terms. I have one, two, three, four terms. However, two of them I can add together. So I'm going to go 5x squared plus 4y minus 2y. So maybe these are like lemons or something is 2y plus 17. So again, just make sure that when you're adding polynomials or subtracting polynomials, you can only add the fruit if it's the same fruit. Don't start adding oranges and bananas and apples, right? That's going for the fruit salad. That's not making it so that you have extra apples or something. Okay, we're gonna do one last one, but then we're gonna do a step past this, okay? So, here I have, looks like I have four terms, and I am going to combine like terms. So I have my 2y plus my 3y is just going to be 5y, plus 4x squared, I can't add anything to that one, right? Minus six. Now, to prepare you for when you start doing more complicated algebra, like the quadratic equation, we need to put this in the proper order. And so it's a good habit to just start putting it in the proper order right now. Okay, so at the end is always going to be the number that's just all by itself, that doesn't have a variable or a letter next to it. Then we are going to put here the 5y because really 5y is kind of like a 5y to the power of one. And then we're going to put in our 4x squared. So you're always going to put the number with the highest exponent first. Again, exponent is just that squared up at the top. And so here we have 4x squared plus 5y because y doesn't have an exponent, minus six. So make sure that you're putting your polynomials in the correct order to prep you for when it becomes a little more complicated. My friends, that is our introduction on fruit salad. I mean, on polynomials. I, I hope that this helped clear it up a little bit more for you, that you have a pretty solid understanding of it. When you break it down to fruit salad, I think it makes it a little bit easier. But if anyone hasn't told you today, just remember that you are enough in this world and make sure that you believe in yourself. I really believe in you. I know that you can do this. Whether you're studying for GED high set or anything else that brought you to this video, make sure that you believe in yourself because you can do this algebra. I know you can. Okay, peace my friends.